you want. I'll take that as a yes. Hello, it's me, the Crazy Lady Venter. Now you may remember this, my hydrogen generator. Uh, let's move this candle so you can see it. This time I've made an improvement to the torch head. I don't know if you can see it, but the problem with my last torch head was that I didn't have a pipe thin enough for the orifice. So I'm hopefully this will um, do a better job. And uh, we shall see what we can do. I want to see if we can melt through a a light bulb filament. See here, that's made of tungsten. That melts at 3,000 degrees. So we'll see if we can melt that. So first, I put on my goggles, uh, which look like they're meant for bloody bomb disposal. <laughs> first, so don't need too much sodium hydroxide. Probably that much will will do. But, uh, we'll wait that. To, we'll wait for that to dissolve. Oh. I'll be it with a bit more patience. So um, after that just dissolved my gloves, um, I think this solution is a bit too strong. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, that solution was way too strong. Uh, let me dilute it by half after I get some goggle gloves that can actually uh, handle this. Okay, so that's now dissolved up. Shall pour it into the generator. Okay, it's weak. Okay, enough. Let's turn it on. See what happens if we increase the voltage. Yeah. Using gas, lovely. Awesome. All right, let's turn that off. Now, I've got a beaker of water here so we can see the flow rate that's coming out. Lovely, you can see hydrogen gas. It's coming out now. I'm gonna leave this purging for a few minutes. Um, just get all the air out away from the candle. So let's put this somewhere else. And I'll uh, see you back in a few minutes when all the air's purged out. Right. Okay. I think we're ready to try to ignite the hydrogen gas. Oh god, I'm scared. I think it's lit. Just blew the candle out. Interesting. Maybe it needs to be purged for longer. Right, I've got a uh, beaker of soapy water. Let's test whether or not these gases are even flammable. Do you want? I'll take that as a yes. For some reason it still won't ignite properly. Right, I've got my blowtorch. Hopefully that will use a stronger ignition source than the candle did. Oh. It almost wants to do it. Again, it's not staying lit. I've scraped down the corpus and made it smaller. It's 
still not working. Turn the voltage up. This is maximum power. Yeah, still, still not working. Maybe crimp this down more. There we go. That is working. You see that? Very, very tiny flame. Now you can see. Yeah, it burns the bench, just like before. Awesome. All right, so let's see what this thing can do. Let's see if this thing will melt copper. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, it's lit. Let's see if I can melt this copper. Okay, so didn't melt the whole thing, but it was able to melt the end slightly. You can see there, see how it's turned to a glob. Yeah, they did manage to melt it. Let's see if it will melt glass. What a challenge! Get it cracking. Yeah? Yeah, it's melted it. Awesome. Let's see if it'll melt steel. I want him to melt. Oh? Yeah, it's melting. I want to see what's Oh yeah, look at that. That's definitely melting. Alright, main thing I want to see if it can melt that tungsten light bulb filament. Oh! I think it did. Instantly. Yeah, yeah, it melted it instantly. Wow. So that means this thing's this flame is excess of three thousand degrees. That is awesome. Anyway, how about that? It can melt tungsten. It can melt steel. It can melt copper, and it can melt glass. Um, is there anything else? If there's anything else you want me to try and melt with this thing, uh, leave in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.